Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. Anything that causes a push or a pull is a force. Anything that causes motion or stops motion is a force. Or anything that deforms an object is a force. There are two types of forces. Contact force and non-contact force. Today, we're going to talk about non-contact forces. There are basically three types of non-contact forces. Gravitational, magnetic, and electrostatic force. Non-contact forces act on objects without physically touching them. Non-contact forces are pretty cool. Gravity pulling skydivers towards the Earth is a non-contact force. And magnets picking up paper clips is a non-contact force. Ever drag your feet across the rug and then get a shock from your doorknob? This is a great example of electrostatic force. It is a non-contact force. Gravity is a non-contact force that pulls two objects towards each other. Look around. Do you see everything that is not floating away? That is because of gravity. Gravity is a non-contact force. The gravity of the Earth is constantly pulling everything down. That's a force. You can't see it, but it's a force, and it's very powerful. You know, though, it's not just the Earth that has gravity. Everything that has mass has gravity as well. That means you're pulling the Earth towards you. At the same time, it's pulling you towards it. All objects have gravity, but because of their increased mass, bigger objects have way more. Our personal gravity doesn't even come close to actually affecting the Earth. In fact, on Earth, there isn't anything that's even close to as big as the planet. So its gravity is really all we feel. Like it does with everything, the Earth's gravity is trying to pull us towards its center. Drop a ball and it falls to the ground. Why? The force that's making it happen is gravity. That's a force, and it is a non-contact force. When you jump, you return to ground. Why? Gravity. Did you know that the sun's gravitational force keeps the Earth and all other solar system planets in a fixed orbit? And it does this thanks to gravity. Gravity is a non-contact force. Magnetism is another non-contact force that most of us have used quite a bit. If you've ever stuck something to the front of a refrigerator using a magnet, you've used magnetism. 
Magnetism only works though if the object it's pushing or pulling against is made with certain types of metal, such as iron or nickel. A magnet is an object that produces a magnetic field. Magnetic fields are invisible lines of force that exit from what we call a magnet's north pole and re-enter it at what we call the south pole. Magnetic fields are amazing, and you can study them more and more and more, and there will still be more cool stuff to learn about them. But we can say this for sure. Magnetic fields are generated by the movement of charged electrons within the atoms that make up the magnetic material. Those individual electrons each create tiny magnetic fields, which combine with all of the other individual electrons to create a larger field. Magnetic force and magnets are used in the modern world all the time. Magnets are used in MRI scans of the body. Magnets are used in compasses, recycling, and even maglev trains. Magnets, magnetic force, a non-contact force is even used to collect metals, like nails or pieces of steel fence, that farm animals have accidentally eaten. Surprisingly, farmers often use cow magnets to get rid of metal the animal has accidentally swallowed, which happens more often than you might imagine. The farmer gets the magnet into the cow, sheep, or goat's tummy, and the metals stick to it, and it passes out of the stomach into the intestine, and finally exits the body with the animal's feces. This can keep the metal from hurting the animal further. Two magnets will either pull together or they will push each other apart and never stick together. I love magnets. Magnetism is a non-contact force. A third type of non-contact force is electrostatic force. Electrostatic force is very similar to the gravitational force or gravity. The difference here is that gravitational force acts between masses and an electrostatic force acts between two charged bodies. They are charged with electrical energy. The word static actually means stationary or unchanging. So, Static electricity is an electrical charge that is not moving. It builds up in one place and stays there. You can't see static electricity, but you can see how it affects the objects that hold it or come near it. Static electricity is governed by charges on particles. They are either positive protons or negative electrons. Similar charges like two positives or two negatives repel or push away from each other. Opposite charges, a positive and a negative, attract or pull towards each other. If you rub a comb on your clothes and then hold it near tiny pieces of paper, you will see the bits of paper standing on their end, attracted to the comb. We are made of tiny positive and negative and neutral particles. The opposite charges attract each other and, like charges, repel. This is the result of the electrostatic forces. Examples of electrostatic force, a non-contact force, include plastic wrap sticking to your hand after you remove it from the package, balloons being attracted to each other when rubbed against your hair. Interestingly, even printer copiers use electrostatic force. Negatively charged powder is spread over the surface. It then adheres through electrostatic attraction to the positively charged image areas on the paper. Forces are amazing, and they are at work all the time. Even when you are sitting still, non-contact forces include gravity, magnetism, and electrostatic force. Non-contact forces include gravity, magnetism, gravity, magnetism, gravity, magnetism, and don't you forget electrostatic force, gravity, magnetism, gravity, magnetism, gravity, magnetism, and don't you forget electrostatic force. There are both non-contact forces and contact forces. They push, they pull, they move things, they change the speed and direction of things, and they even change the shape of things. Anything that causes a push or a pull is a force. Anything that causes motion or stops motion is a force. 
or anything that deforms an object, is a force. Non-contact forces act on objects without physically touching them, whether it be a contact force or a non-contact force. May the forces always be with you. Contact and non-contact. Forces are they. Forces, forces are, are they. they.